Good morning. My name is Lana Smith. I'm in fourth grade and I go to Quail Hollow Elementary School. My weather question is, why does it rain more in the summer than in the winter? Really good question. Just like we have, you know, fall, spring, winter, and summer, those seasons, the rainy season, all because of this thing right here, the tilt of the Earth's axis, 23.4 degrees with that tilt as the Earth revolves or orbits around the sun. In the wintertime, we are farther away from the sun, but in the summertime, the tilt of the axis puts the northern hemisphere closer to the sun, which is why we're warmer, we have more daylight. But in that wintertime, because of the difference in the temperatures, the jet stream drops to the south. That's why we see the cooler temperatures and that heat drops farther to the south into the southern hemisphere. But in the summertime, we get more sunshine, things warm up, and we see more warmth. That warmth moves from south to north. The jet stream moves to the north. But also what's coming up from the south is that tropical moisture. It moves up from the Caribbean. We get really, really humid conditions, sticky conditions, a lot of moisture in the atmosphere. And that's part of the ingredient that drives our rainy season. The heat of the day, even just without the sea breeze, we'll talk about that in a second, but the rising air, it causes those air mass storms to form. You get these areas of low pressure, areas of high pressure then off the water, pushes the cooler air inland and acts like a mini cold front. And that lifts the moisture into the atmosphere, creating those thunderstorms. It creates that sea breeze. And that's why we get those storms every single day.